do you have the files that my sister gave you? I really need those for tomorrow. It's very, very important. Yes, of course. I'll get them right away. Good. Now, are you showing up for the launch party tonight? Launch party? I didn't know we had one. Yes, Lee and I are hosting it. We're celebrating the partnership between us and Lacey Williams and Carter Phelan. Yes, I heard they were very good business partners to have. Yes, but that's none of your concern right now. So, have you contacted my husband to see if he's ready for the party? No, I will do that right away. You haven't done anything, have you? No, of course I have. I've been working all day and all night. Yes, well, everything I need you to do, it is not done, is it? I'm sorry, I didn't hear about the launch party until today. Okay, well, maybe you should have asked someone. Ugh, go get me a coffee. Hey, what's going on? Did Tabitha inform you that there's a party tonight? Yep, just got the email from her, but you've been telling me forever. What are you so worried about? Who says I'm worried? Uh, because I know you. You are. What's up? Nothing. You just know that I want to make this party perfect. And on top of that, there's going to be very, very important people there. Okay, well, besides your family, who's actually going to be there that's actually important? On top of having half of the company there today, we're going to have a lot of CEOs from other big companies. You know that we want to partner with some of them. Yeah, but I thought we were already in the market with Carter and Lacey. Well, we are, but I mean, think about it. How much more can Beanie Boutique take? We need a lot more. Okay, yeah, I get that, and we will, but Beanie Boutique is a new company, and we've already been, like, launching off like crazy. I know, I know, just just listen to me for once, okay? Just make sure everything's perfect. We don't want to make any bad impressions. Yeah, yeah, okay, tell that to your psycho cousin. All right, I'll get the house ready. I'll call you later. Okay, talk to you tonight. Bye. What do you think about my outfit for the launch party? Literally, I think it's to die for and I'm totally, totally gonna make Rosemary so jealous. Yeah, babe, it looks great. You know I wanna impress everyone there. Yeah, I know, but maybe you should think about making your own life. I mean, I love you and all, but don't you think this like copy Rosemary thing is getting a little bit overboard? No, babe, you know I'm much prettier than her. Unfortunately, the rest of the flipping government doesn't think so, so I have to prove it to everybody. Babe, you don't have to prove anything. You're beautiful to me, and that's all that matters. Ugh! That's not good enough. You know that. I'm gonna be better than my cousin. And you're not helping. I I'm really sorry, babe. We gotta go. Come on, we're gonna be late to the party. And if you wanna upstage, Rosemary, you better not be there late. Don't you dare talk back to me! You think my outfit's too much? What? No, never. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Come on, let's go greet some people. Did you invite your crazy cousin? She's a part of the company. We have to invite her. Yeah, I know, but- Hey, you two! Ava, Dougie, you made it! I'm so glad! Yeah, us too. We tried to get here a little bit early too. So good to see you guys. I know, I miss seeing you guys. I wish we didn't work so far away. <laughs> Ava, we work in the same building. Yeah, but we work so far away. The building is so long. Well, anyways, I'm glad you guys made it. Yeah, us too. We're gonna go mingle with some people. <sighs> Have you seen my brother and his wife anywhere? I swear they're always late. Yeah, I thought I saw Stephanie like a few minutes ago. It wouldn't surprise me that Stephanie showed up and Jay didn't. You know he hates these kind of things. Well, that, and he's definitely not responsible enough to even show up. Did you just call me not responsible? My dog, Jay, you made it. I mean, let's be real, I had to drag him here. Oh, Stephanie's here too, fun. Oh, my dog, be nice. You know what she did to my brother, I can't do- Well, anyways, we're glad you guys made it. Yes, I'm very happy to see both of you. Yeah, me too. Enjoy yourselves. Thanks, Rosemary. Look, I know she left your brother, and then she came back, and now she probably just wants money. But we have to be nice, okay? I know that. Look, I get it. I get that Jay loves her and everything, and I want him to be happy. But not with her. She was a part of our family even before she left, though. And you liked her then. Yeah, she didn't screw over our family, though. 
Excuse me, are we interrupting anything? Mr. and Mrs. Blythe? No, of course you're not interrupting anything. We were just talking about, um, business, you know, as we carry on. That is completely understandable. We were hoping to talk about you and the contract that you guys have signed with Beanie Boutique. Yes, there will be plenty of time for that as well. Um, also, we were wondering if your business partners might be here tonight. I'm so sorry to disappoint. Carter and Lacey are out on, um, uh, business. They seem to be never around. Yes, they're more or less like silent business partners, but that's not important. What's important is that we talk about our contract. Yes, of course. And may I ask if we can talk somewhere more private? Yes, of course. My office is just down the hall. Wonderful. Took so long to get here. Babe, there was traffic. What was I supposed to do? I don't know. You're supposed to figure it out. Well, I'm sorry, but we got here, okay? That's the important part. Uh, don't you dare talk back to me. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Have you seen Rosemary anywhere? I want to show her my new necklace. Sorry, babe. I don't mean to talk back again. But remember, this is a business party. Not really a fashion show. Ugh, why can't you be like more like Lee or something? Like, you are so worthless. <sighs> uh, I'm sorry. Look, do you want some uh, something to drink? I can go get it. Yeah, do something right for once. Hey, I love you. I love you. No, you don't. Oh my gosh, he does not love me the way Lee loves Rosemary. Ugh, how am I supposed to prove that I'm going to be better than my cousin if she has a better husband? I just have a stupid boyfriend. Uh, what the heck am I? Oh, my dog. That's it. Lee doesn't actually love Rosemary. Besides, I'm way better and way prettier. I'm definitely the better option. I can get Lee, and then I'll finally prove to her that I'm better. You seem very interested in our business partners, and not much the business. Well, have you talked to Carter and Lacey at all? No, Mr. Blythe. You know they live cross-country. Yes, and it's not that hard to get a plane. Forgive me, but... A plane from New York to Vancouver is not that, um, cheap. Yes, but we want to make sure we're getting the ultimate business opportunity. But we are. Beanie Boutique has already surpassed everything that you guys have put as standards. Yes, but without a stable business partner, we're not going to invest our money in a business that we don't even trust. Like I said, Carter and Lacey are more or less like silent business partners. Silent or not, I don't trust to put all my money in one business. Well, maybe we should give them some credit. They've been trying really hard, and it's a new business. I don't think so. I have our records from last month. I can show you if you like. Yes, that would be nice. Perfect. I'll go get them. I'll be right back. OMG, Lee, hey! Hey, Courtney. I really don't have the time for this. I can talk to you later, though. No, don't bother. Come with me. I have something really, really important to show you. Courtney, I'm in a business meeting. Can it wait? No, come on! Didn't Pablo come with you? You can hang out with him. No, Pablo's just a backup. <sighs> You're the one who I want. Courtney, I'm married. And on top of that, isn't this technically cheating on Pablo? Not if he doesn't find out. Come on. Or else. Or else what? Or else, you know what's gonna happen. Ugh, fine. Just don't say anything. I'm sure my husband will be back any second. Please just be patient. You know, people say patience is a virtue, and I've been way too patient tonight. I can't do this anymore. We're leaving. Thank you for your time. No, please. Bye, Mrs. Coulter. Oh, my dog. What am I gonna do? But I thought you said... Hey, hey, have you guys seen Courtney anywhere? I've been looking all over for her. I haven't been able to find her. It's getting late, man. Uh, you should probably find her. It's almost time to leave. No, sorry, I haven't seen her. Why? What's wrong? Ugh, last time I saw her, she stormed off looking for someone. Yeah, that's normal Courtney, though, man. Get used to it. I know, but I love her, and don't you dare say that about my girlfriend. Sorry, Pablo, we haven't seen her. Uh, if you'll excuse us. Thank you so much for coming. Have a good night. Hey, Lee? Where have you been? I lost the most important contract we could have ever had because you- No, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. You have a lot of explaining to do. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll tell you tonight. Yeah, you are. You know what? Show up the guests yourself. I'm done. Rosie, wait. Hey, can we talk now? Sure. What do you want to tell me first? The reason why you ditched me during our meeting, or the reason why Pablo was looking for Courtney, and I saw you with her? That's just it. It was both of them. Wait, what? 
I was going to get the papers for our meeting and then Courtney like came at me in the hallway. No, 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 no. Start from the beginning. <sighs> okay, so... She did what? She- what? what? I'm gonna take her down. This is unacceptable. Uh, I know, I'm mad too, but you cannot call her. Why not? I feel like yelling at her anyway. She's super annoying. Look, sweetheart, I know she gets on your nerves and whatever, but listen, we gotta make sure that we get her back really, really good. Oh, what do you have in mind? Well, if we call her up now, she's not gonna care, but if we expose her in front of everyone, then maybe, just maybe, she'll learn her lesson. You mean expose her in front of Pablo? Yeah, but I didn't think just expose her in front of Pablo, but maybe she could expose herself. Oh, do you have a plan? I do. <laughs> this is gonna be good. You know, girl, I'm so happy that we got to hang out today. Like, oh my gosh, we never go shopping anymore. Yes, I've been so busy, and I'm just so glad that we get to hang out. No, I admire you, right? Well, anyways, I was just thinking, like, what if we were to go get, like, a mani-pedi? That would be nice. No, but, like, a mani-pedi, and, like, one that's, like, a twinning, so we can twin. Yeah, we should be, like, totally together and, like, inseparable. Oh, yeah, sure, whatever. I was talking to Lee last night, and he said you were, um, hovering around him all night. Was that true? Oh, no, he was hovering around me. I think he likes me. But we're married. Marriage isn't anything. It's just a saying that people say. It doesn't mean you're forever with someone. I mean, I guess you're right, but I would never think that Lee would do that. I don't know. Maybe he has his reasons, you know? Like, I'm really pretty, so... Yes, maybe, but does that mean you don't like Pablo? No, of course I love Pablo, but Lee is just so much better. So you don't like Pablo then? If you're thinking that my husband is much better, then you clearly don't love Pablo as much. Well, if you promise not to tell anyone, like, no, I'm using Pablo just for his money. Really? Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, but that's all in the past now, girl. Come on, let's go get the Manny Petty. Yeah, I'll be right there. Suit yourself. So, what did you want to talk to me about? Oh, nothing. I was just gonna say, like... Oh, hold on. That was my wife. Hey, I'm with Pablo. Can I call you back later? I got the entire conversation. I'll forward it to you. Oh, okay. Great, thank you. What is that about? Well, uh... You might just want to watch for yourself. What? Is that Courtney? What? She said that about me? What the heck? She really believes that in me? I'm so sorry you had to figure out this way. I really am. No, of course. Thank you for telling me. This is really important. Thank you. I, I don't know what to say. Don't. Don't say anything. You just need to talk to your girlfriend. Yeah, I will. Right when she gets home. Pablo! Baby, I'm home! What? No, this isn't your home anymore. Um, baby, I don't know what you're talking about. This is where my Louboutins live. Uh, this is where I live. <laughs> right, well, actually, everything you own is technically bought by me, so I own it. Baby, what are you saying? I'm saying I want you out of this house. What happened to you? Do you need, like, ice cream? Because I could really go for some ice cream right now. No, I heard what you said to Rosemary today. Oh, baby, I was just kidding. Of course I love you. Get out. Why? It's not anything important. You admitted that you cheated on me and you would rather go for a married guy? What the heck? I'm sorry, baby, but you don't give me everything I want. What more can I give you? I give you everything. But, but you just, you don't give me everything. Uh, yes, I do. And now since this happened, you're gonna have nothing. But baby, please. No, get out. Baby, no, take me back. No, not ever. Wow, you really are stubborn. Guess you won't get to reap the reward of what I'm doing. And what reward is that? If it wasn't for me, you'd be living in a box. I don't have a thing for Lee Coulter. How stupid do you think I am? Uh, yeah, okay, I'm not that stupid. Look, I can see when you're white lying to me. But I'm not. You know how much I want to be like Rosemary, which means having my own company and taking her down. You want to take down the entire Beanie Boutique company? Do you know how hard that would be? I'm already working on the contract. Do you remember? What? Remember what? Do you remember when Mr. and Mrs. Blythe showed up for the launch party? Yeah, weren't they talking business with Rosemary and Lee? Yeah, well lucky for me, Mrs. Blythe is my friend. Fallon is the most amazing person, and she's totally on my side. And what does that have to do with anything? Well, Rosemary and Lee wanted the contract that they were going to give them, 
but I had to talk to Fallon before, and she agreed to, like, stop the contract. That hurts the business a lot, and you work for Beanie Boutique. What are you trying to do? Go bankrupt even more? No, because if they don't have the contract that they signed, then they don't have the land for the property that's Beanie Boutique. And? And if you're gonna give me some cash, then I can buy the land, and then, basically, Rosemary and Lee work for me. Oh, you're right! Oh my gosh! I know I'm right, and then, guess what? Beanie Boutique is all mine. You mean all of ours? No, baby. You dumped me. Oh, yeah, forget about that. It's in the past now. I'm working side by side with you. Good, I'm glad we're on the same page. Now let's ruin some business.